guys good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel what's up how are you doing happy new month to you all so you're welcome back to my channel today is first of december and december is starting on a very good note and it's going to be a very blessed month for us all okay so i'm actually waiting for someone to bring something for me here from here i'll be going to bank from bank i have other errands to run but I'm going to take you guys along to some of the places I'll be going today. So you guys should stay tuned, okay? And enjoy this vlog. We are back. Just came back from school runs and so fire this morning. The sun out there is something else. So we just went to pick my daughter from school and we just got home. Let's go and uh, put something for Belle. <laughs> Belle they speak English, so we need to go and eat something, right? Hello beautiful people, welcome back again to my channel. How are you guys doing? Hope your day is going well. If you are new here, you're welcome. And if you are seeing this beautiful face for the first time, please don't make it a last. Consider subscribing and join the family. So, happy new month once again. Okay, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please hit that red subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so that every time I drop any new video, you'll be notified. So, guys, I told you guys I'm going to bring you cheese. I'm going to bring you cheese. You see, eh, something that happened for this life. You see, a few, few weeks ago, there's this, uh, this report. This video that went viral about a pregnant woman who was sleeping with a pastor on her husband's matrimonial bed. And the husband caught them, snapped them, and put them on social media. And the woman went and committed suicide and died. And we're all here shouting, hey, what kind of pastor is this? Hey, this one, that one. As if that one was not enough. We do not even know there's a bigger one happening. <laughs> Something they happen, no. Things they happen. In fact, eh, a lot of people just ordain themselves as a pastor, as a man of God. In meanwhile, they are men of the devil. God did not call a lot of people. Must everybody be a pastor? Must you be a pastor to make money? I know, I know a lot of people are going into this pastor or whatever because of money involved. They feel it's a fastest way of making money. But must you be a pastor? Now, wow, a lot of people use this umbrella of church, okay, to commit all kinds of atrocities, evils, as in things you cannot even believe that they can do. Now, there's this one on ground, the one I watched, like, last week. I said I must bring this just to you guys. About a pastor, a redeemed Christian church of God pastor, who has been sleeping with his daughter for two good years, with the, with, uh, with the knowledge of the mother, the mother is aware of everything that is happening. And she, instead of her to open up to talk, she was hiding it. She was hiding it. In fact, uh, this one chopped my mouth. I couldn't believe it. What is this life turning into? A girl of 18 years. And this man has been sleeping with her since she was 15. In fact, I'm going to put this video because nobody me go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here with your own ears. So I'm not gonna say na me talk her. The girl confessed it herself. In fact, I this one choked my mouth. I will put this video for you guys to watch, and I will come back to finish what I have to say. I just clocked it in October twenty-three. Okay. So uh, can you tell me who is your dad? His name is Pastor Emmanuel Orekoya. Pastor Emmanuel Orekoya. At which church? Redeem Christian Church of God Wisdom Tabernacle. What is it? Redeem Christian Church of God Wisdom Tabernacle. At where? Along the Lawansi area. Okay. Can you tell me what your dad has been doing to you? He don't molest me. Unless in what, uh, in what sense? By sleeping with me. Is he with your conscience, uh, with your consent, or is raping you? He's raping me, not my consent. Wow. When did your dad start touching you, and how did it all started? Uh, he 
he started when I was in SS. SS, I can't really remember, but when all of it was, he started whereby he started like touching my private parts. He would say he wants to check if I'm in bed in a lot of that. So at that issue, my mom got to know, then my mom told him it's not right and all of that. So there was an occasion where we went for, for my uncle's wedding. So when we came back, only my dad came to the house to drop some of the wedding loot. Then the next thing he did was he brought out his mouth for me to suck. And I told him I could not do that. So after then, he started like sleeping with me. That would be how how long now, like how many years? Well, close to two years. That means you were like 16 years of 10 when it all started. At this 16 or 15, I think 15. 15 plus, around 15 or something like that, okay? Uh, can you remember, can you recollect how many times he has raped you? Mm -hmm. More than five times, but I cannot really recollect this more than maybe I'll count it. Count it. Have you ever pregnant for him before? Yes. How many times? In that'll be three to four. Maybe three to four, four to five. I can't I actually wrote it down my mind, but I can't remember. So how did you now do the pregnancy? No, I do use pure. To flush it out. Yes. How did you get to know that you are pregnant? You were pregnant then? No, I do use PT strip anytime he has done what he wants to do, like to check if I'm safe or not. Have you ever had any abortion before, like a uh, DNC in a hospital or something? Yes, no, I can't really remember because the last time I went to the hospital, where they did oral tests and all of that, and where my mom took me to. So I don't know what was in the result of the test. All I just knew then, my tummy was really pinning me and all of that. Landed in the hospital, so I could not really say about that. But I think my mom could, like, have more say to that aspect. Okay. Have you reported this anywhere before? Yes. Where? Okay. Well, more than five, more than, more than ten places. Going to have reported, um, I've written letters to human rights. Ready, has got to know about it. I've gone to Warif. I've gone to Mirabel Center at Ikeja. So recently, the issue got to radio Ibadan, whereby the letter brought it to Lagos, to DSV, Special and Domestic Violence at Alausa. So they referred the case back to case back to Bariga because that's the closest place but my dad had to like use money to cover it up and then I was being pressured and everything that should withdraw the case and all of that so I had no choice than to withdraw the case and also they used money to close it so the same whereby allows that people used to reach me and all of that my mom had to collect it so they won't be able to reach me on the case anymore so that was how the case ended so that means your mom knows about it as well Yes. And she's not doing anything about it. She the last issue with allows that she cried, she begged. She's like I should let everything go and forgive him. That my daddy wasn't going to try so much again. And it's still continue. Yes. When last did he rape you again? No, I think was it Wednesday or Tuesday? But the end Wednesday. This week. This week. That is. Let me check the top. That one is it, please. What is today's date? 19. Today's 19. If Saturday is 19. That one is it, will be around. 16. 15, 16. On the 15 and 16. Either 15, 16, I Of November yes. 2022. Yes. Oh. Did you guys hear everything that this girl said? Oh my God. Oh my God. This man, did you hear all the places they went to? They took this case to. And this pastor of a man has to bribe all his weight just to cover up. And the mother even sees her SIM card. 
that allows her people used to communicate with her just to cover up for her husband. Shameless husband and wife. Shameless pastor and wife. It's only God that will punish two of them. In fact, this girl needs justice. These are the kind of things that causes people to commit suicide. Even this girl attempted to commit suicide. What if she's gone? What if she's dead? This man and the wife will be running in the streets, living their lives like, they, like nothing is happening. They are not worth being parents. They deserve to be severely punished. Let me know what you think in the comment section because this pastor and his wife, eh, something something is really wrong with their senses what do you guys think about this video because this is really alarming don't you think that this girl really need help she need help she must have gone through a lot i also heard that she she tried to commit suicide in fact eh, i really feel for this girl as she said justice must be done this man should not go free he and his wife should not go free for covering up this shameful act. So let me come closer so that you guys will hear me very well. You see, this person and his wife should not go scot free. You guys should let me know what you think in the comment section because this man, this man is very wicked. He's a very, very wicked human being. If that guy happens to be my sister, what I would do to that man and his wife? Hey, it's only God that will judge both of us. But my people, let's not bore you guys with this bad news okay i'm going to give you guys a video that will uplift your spirit so that you come out from this mood okay so with this video just enjoy the rest of the day i will see you guys in my next one please subscribe and join the family like this video okay leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about all i have said and the videos you watched today so till then enjoy yourself bye guys for today, I'll, I'll, I'll eat um, um, bone soup. Just warm it and let it burn a little. I'll, I'll eat it like that. Then tomorrow, you go and want another grass cutter for me. But I, I don't want female grass cutter anymore. I want the male one. Those female ones, they eat a lot and then they, they have shit in, too much in their stomach. And you have to clean all that up. So I want the male one. Good. I want you to be specific now. Tell me which one you want. We have different ranges and age groups and age brackets. Which age bracket of grass cutter do you need? Do you need the youth? Do you need the adults? Do you need the elderly ones or the succulents? Let me know. Since you have become this, you take the population of this, you do census of, of, of grass cutter.